so we're getting crafty today. So I'm back in my parents' place in Connecticut. We have a bunch of old furniture that was in storage for like 12 years while we were living abroad and everyone hates it now. I'm taking on the task of repainting some of them. I've never done anything like this, so I'm excited. We went to Home Depot yesterday and I kind of looked through colors that I was thinking about painting it and just got all the basic supplies I need. So I'm just gonna show you guys the piece that I'm working with first today. We're, this is one that we don't really care about, which I'm gonna do first to see if I'm actually capable. And then I'll start doing ones that we actually care about a little bit. Um, okay, so it's this wood chest of drawers. It's just kind of like a, not a beautiful color of wood and it just needs a little bit of love so we're going to sand it down and prime it today and i went to home depot yesterday oh wow this color matches my um, trash can beautifully i'm between painting it white and painting it a dark green i've been loving this color recently but i just know that white is like classic it goes with everything but guys, there's like 80 million different shades of white and it's a big issue. There's also quite a few colors of green. So it's, it's, this is gonna be a process. We're gonna figure this out today too. But firstly, we're just gonna prep this for the paint. All right, so first step from a YouTube video that I watched is to sand it down. So I just bought a sand sponge. It's this one. I was told to just lightly sand it, which... Oh yeah, okay. I see it doing doing work. So that was what I just sanded. So, cause you wanna get off the finish. You don't wanna sand it too hard apparently. <laughs> I've never done this before, so don't, don't listen to me. But yeah, so I'm just gonna do this to the whole thing and to the shelves. Okay, she's been sanded. I hope I did this right. But basically just rub down the entire thing. Now we're gonna move on to primer. I feel like it's just like when you get a new uh, a new natural almond butter or peanut butter and you gotta mix around the oil at the top. That's the vibe I'm getting right now. Then we're just gonna lightly coat it. It doesn't need to be opaque. I think it's just like a thin layer to get it going. For today to let it dry and then actually paint it tomorrow this gives me an idea of what white looks like and i like it oh no um i'm gonna go sort this out <laughs> but now i'm gonna try and decide what color i actually want to paint it there's paint all over my hands nice okay um I'm not gonna lie, it's been a week since I've revisited this at all. I've just been procrastinating it, honestly, and I feel like I need to get it done because I started it and I need to finish it. So next, I just need to sand down the primer and then clean off all the dust with a tack, whoop, with a tack cloth. And then we're gonna paint. The paint that I got, I'm just gonna do it white. I'm gonna be basic. I got the scuff defense paint in the shade arcade white i'm like a beauty blogger i just watched a video about painting on youtube and the woman says you shouldn't ever paint with matte paint on furniture because it's really hard to clean and of course i purchased matte paint so that's gonna be interesting i hope it's fine because i bought the paint and i want to use it so i'm gonna do it anyway so i'm gonna sand this down and wipe it all off with the tack cloth and then we're gonna start painting and I'm really excited. So we have our paint. She's looking good. I'm just gonna dump some into here. Okay, so now this is totally coated and I've been told to just do like thin layers. So that's what we're gonna do. All 
right guys, the first coat is all done. I feel like you can't really see on the camera. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna let them dry and then see if I wanna do another coat tomorrow. If not, I'll come back and let you know how I get on. Okay guys, we finally have the finished product. I think she looks pretty good. This was honestly super fun to do. I feel like it came out really well, so I would highly recommend going to Home Depot and doing it yourself. Mm -hmm. 